Apart from the previous ones, there are some other Basque cyber companies with remarkable impact uh, abroad, internationally. Before beginning with the pitches, uh, I'd like to mention three companies that were here with us in the first edition of this, of this uh, event last year and that couldn't make it to come here uh, today because of major business engagements. The first one uh, is Elias Robotics. Elias Robotics uh, is giving their first steps to the US by landing in Massachusetts. It happened uh, like one month ago and uh, it was with the uh, invaluable help of uh, Global Epic uh, Alliance, which, uh, where we are members. Uh, Katie Stebbins, uh, unfortunately he's not here with us today, uh, helped us very warm, very warm uh, to uh, find uh, interlocutors and opportunities of business there, because this company is developing cybersecurity solutions for robotics. And uh, in Massachusetts, as, probably, as you will probably know, uh, it's uh, established mass robotics, one of the biggest and most advanced robotics capacity all the world round. So Elias Robotics is now a member, resident member of that community. Additionally to that, we have also Enig Media, with a high value, high performance encryption algorithm that is capable to protect industrial networks in real time. Enig Media signed, uh, like uh, four months ago, a global partnership agreement to Schneider Electric. This means that almost any device in pro manufactured, produced by Schneider Electric could have Basque technology built inside to protect the operation of that asset. And third, I'd like to mention Silpath. Silpath is an IRM company that is present nowadays in 21 countries all the world round, including the US, uh, specifically in the New York area. And this company is competing to all the heavyweights in this uh, niche. They are, uh, uh, together with a British company, they are the only two European companies in this, in this uh, game. And uh, the growth last year, the growth uh, last year was uh, in revenue 110%. That's a very big uh, growth. Additionally, uh, today, we will have speakers from some uh, four uh, emerging disruptive companies in the Basque country with a very unique uh, uh, business model or solutions. In order to stick to the agenda, I suggest any questions you might have, please note it down and ask afterwards uh, during the networking lunch. To begin with the pitching, I will pass the floor to the first speaker, uh, Iñaki Aguia, CTO of RKL Integral. Thank you, thank you very much, Javier, and thanks to the PAX Cybersecurity Center. Well, my name is Iñaki, I come from RKL. It's a company located in, in Bilbao, and I will talk about uh, cyber physical systems and how to protect them, okay? You know that uh, more and more security threats are becoming more complex. They are attacking crit different critical infrastructures. And attackers are using different techniques, tactics that are combining digital parts, also physical parts. So in order to face that, uh, we offer uh, an integrated um, security, sorry, an integrated security solution uh, and services uh, tackling the digital part and the physical part, but also the safety part and security part. And this means that, for instance, if we do a risk analysis to one da data center, we are doing that risk, risk analysis to the electromechanical parts, but also to the pipe protection systems, but also to the BMS part of the or data scale system that is controlling the BMS part in terms of cybersecurity, the OT part, let's say and also the control access for physical systems. So that's our secret source, that's our, uh, our value, that our value is integrated, okay? We are integrating uh, the whole world. Uh, we have a collection of a bunch of different uh, clients right now, uh, all around the world. We are uh, working with Telefonic and Repsol, Sonda in, in South America, uh, Saudi Telecom Company in Middle East, Iberdrola, Guggenheim Museums, 
all oriented to critical infrastructures, okay? And that is one focus in data centers, which is transversal to all, to all those critical infrastructures. And we are also working the states, in the United States and North America and Mexico with uh, two, uh, two allies. With, we have two alliances with Peotzi, Nayari is here, and with uh, Technogram, uh, uh, with Alejandro as well. Um, working of how we are trying to construct uh, to construct our, uh, our, our value proposition here in, in North America. Um, we have been growing since the beginning. Uh, I think that we will grow exponentially in the near future. And we are transforming our, our uh, model from 80-20 in terms of consultancy and solutions to 80-20 as well, but uh, we reverse that. We want the income to, to become more from the solutions part. And for doing that, uh, we are developing BES, which is our solution that is a software platform that manages and operates critical infrastructure risks, CPS, of course, in a critical infrastructure. That means that we can do real-time integrated risk assessment. We can uh, reduce the maintenance to recovery in critical infrastructures and we can optimize resources. And beyond that, we can uh, do predictive analysis and go into security to intel with intelligence to resilience areas. And uh, we do that with uh, a very multidisciplinary team, but with a great team, which is the supporting secret source of uh, our value chain, our integrated value chain. So thank you very much. Um, if you are around uh, after watching uh, in the last time, please uh, talk to me, talk to uh, our partners uh, from Beotti and Technogram, and we can uh, talk about it. Thank you. Thank you, Javier.